For the second time in less than four days, a shooting at Parkway East apartment complex. This time, a 30-year-old man is into the hospital, shot in the middle of the morning. This even after Jackson police pull extra hours and longer shifts to increase patrols throughout that neighborhood. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Victoria Taylor is live in East Jackson with details on this latest act of violence. Victoria? After shots rang through the Parkway East apartment complex this morning, at least one gunman is still on the loose. Now, I spoke with residents who say the extra patrols may help in the long run, but they think it's getting worse before it gets better. When I first moved over here, it was chaotic, but now it's ridiculous. One East Jackson apartment complex, two shootings in less than four days, leaving some residents saying they don't know when this violence might end. When are people going to learn? Is somebody ever going to listen and wake up? When is it going to end? You know, when is, what is the end to all this madness? Are they just going to kill each other up? You know, what, what's the end to it? Jackson police say a 30 year old man was shot Thursday morning at the Parkway East Apartments. He's expected to recover. Investigators say it appears he was targeted. As of right now, police say the possible gunman is still on the loose, and they are even unable to identify any possible suspects. We only know. What we know, we only know what he'll tell us, and we weren't there. And that's the job of is to try to figure out what happened, you know, by talking to him. And he just wasn't very helpful at all. Police say there is no connection between this shooting and the one Sunday that left a 17-year-old boy dead. Residents say they don't know what long-term solutions might combat crime in the area. The only thing we can do is keep on praying and try to get back on the right track again. Police are asking anyone with information to come forward or call Crime Stoppers at 424 TIPS. Live in East Jackson, Victoria Taylor, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Victoria. Well, Jackson Police Captain Tyrese Miller says having this many shootings in such a short amount of time is incredibly unusual. Today, Jackson Police make a second arrest in the first shooting this week at Parkway East Apartments. 17 year old Shamari Peterson Jr. died from his injuries. A 21 year old man remains hospitalized. Here is the second suspect, Jaquil Waller. Police tell us they've actually had him in custody since around 9 Tuesday night. Today, he was officially charged with first degree murder and attempted first degree murder. He's set to make his first court appearance tomorrow.